Well, I would say that this conference is important uh, for two particular reasons. The, the first reason is because my impression as a non-specialist in climate change is that for a number of years this has been really a debate among the expert, uh, academic, uh, NGO community and the policy making community has not been sufficiently engaged in this discussion. So in other words, we've produced a lot of knowledge, a lot of expertise, but we haven't produced uh, the equivalent number of action plans and concrete policy recommendations. So I think the first thing this conference has done is to bring this academic knowledge community together with decision makers, policy makers. Uh, and that is a necessary dialogue to have because it's no good analysing climate change if you don't have the tools or the people to find the solutions and implement the solutions. Second thing why I believe this conference here in The Hague has been particularly important is because the development community never really talks to the security community, particularly the military that I represent coming from an organisation like NATO. It's like two different worlds. And I think that this has been extremely interesting for me to explain the security perspective better to the people who look at development and for me to understand more the development side. Because if we're going to really handle climate change in the future, we need to bring the capacity building development side with the adaptation security side. So for me, it's been a, a real eye opener. And there's no doubt I'm going to go back massively more aware and better informed about this topic than I was before I arrived here. I would hope that this conference would have the following outcome, which is that it will become an annual event because it's no good having one conference, no matter how interesting, and then afterwards everybody goes away, they never see each other again, or not in the same community, and nothing happens. So I, I've really uh, asked uh, the Dutch authorities uh, to consider making this an annual event, uh, not necessarily always with the same people, but an annual event where the policy side and the intellectual knowledge side that I spoke of earlier can meet and compare notes, you know, what has happened over the last year, what has been good, what has been bad, what do we get right, what do we get wrong, where are we, where do we need to go from uh, here. Uh, and I would also hope in terms of the output that the next time round, having this time discussed really all of the issues, that we would focus on one or two maybe critical questions. What do we do about Syria? What do we do about North Africa? What do we do about the Arabian Peninsula? How can we bring in the local actors in these areas uh, and work with them uh, and come up with an action plan so that uh, it would become more operational uh, as we go forward and really try to uh, find uh, recommendations and solutions which are realistic but which are also doable.